Attorney General Jeff Sessions has been teasing a new policy when it comes to the enforcement of existing drug laws. Now, according to the New York Times, Sessions is expected to soon toughen the rules on prosecuting drug crimes, according to people familiar with internal deliberations, and what would be a major rollback of Obama-era policies that would put his first stamp on the Justice Department that he has criticized as soft on crime. Soft on crime. Here we go, man. Back to the 1980s we go. So here's some details. Now, Mr. Sessions has been reviewing a pair of memos issued by his predecessor, Eric Holder, who encouraged federal prosecutors to use their discretion in what criminal charges that they filed, particularly when those charges carried mandatory minimum sentences. Now, the policy under consideration would return the Department of Air, uh, Department to the era of George W. Bush. In 2003, uh, Attorney General John Ashcroft ordered the nation's prosecutors to bring the most serious charges possible in the vast majority of cases, with limited exceptions. So, again, we're, we're going back to the George W. Bush era of let's get tough on crime, which was actually way before George W. Bush as well. This was uh, during Ronald Reagan. This was during uh, Bush. Th uh, this was during Clinton and then Bush again. And we've continued that until Eric Holder said, hey, let's pull back on this a little bit. A little bit. Tiny amount of change. And, of course, that's what frustrates me about the Obama administration is that they had the ability to actually go through and say, we're going to take uh, marijuana off the Schedule 1 list. Well, they didn't do that. But to give them a little bit of credit, a tiny bit of credit, they did say, hey, let's, let's stop focusing so much on mandatory minimums. Now, of course, since they didn't make sweeping changes to policy, a little bit of incrementalism, here comes uh, Jeff Sessions saying, incrementalism, no, we're going to roll back what little change that you made and actually go back to being even more tough on crime. Now, in this memo, uh, Sessions writes, this policy affirms our responsibility to enforce the law, is moral and just, and produces consistency. This policy fully utilizes the tools Congress has given us. Now, he wants to talk about morality in that memo. This is somebody who talks about morality a lot. Well, what's more about throwing people in prison for possessing, say, a plant? In, this case, in the case of marijuana, which, of course, is Schedule 1. Schedule 1 means that it has no medicinal value. Now, that has been proven false by the numerous amounts of studies that, thankfully, were able to be uh, conducted under the Obama administration when he did relax some of the rules. So, again, I've got to give him a little bit more credit here. Now, <clears throat> it, 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 look at their argument, though. We're going to throw you in prison. We're going to protect you by throwing you in prison with hardened criminals. We're going to ruin your life, make it harder for you to get a job, and all the other negative uh, impacts that it comes with going to prison and having a prison uh, record. How is that protecting you? What, in what planet does that make any sense? But it's not about protecting you from drugs. Because that's the whole purpose, uh, they like to say, of the drug war. No, it's to protect you and your family and your kids. Think of the children. Actually, no. We know from uh, the Schaefer report, Richard Nixon got this report and said, I don't care. I'm going to use this. I know that drugs don't. Uh, um, I know that marijuana doesn't harm people. I don't care. I'm going to use this against my political enemies. I'm going to go after the liberals and I'm going to go after the blacks. And I'm going to use marijuana to get to them. That's what this is about. And look, I know we like to talk a lot about marijuana, but and this might be a controversial opinion, but I believe that all drugs should be legal. Heroin, crack, cocaine, meth, all of it. It's not because I want you to do it. No, I believe that you should help these people get off the drugs instead of throwing people in prison. It's all about that. It, I know it's a controversial opinion only because you think that, well, if you want it, uh, if you want it to be legal, obviously you want to do it. No, I don't want anybody doing meth. That's ridiculous. But if you make it legal, you make it easier for people who are on meth to get help. That's the whole point. When you make something illegal, punishable by prison time and somebody wants help getting off it, you think they're going to go to the police? You think they're going to go admit that they have a problem? No, they're going to run away. And they're going to keep doing it. They're not going to be able to get the help they need. And look at what Portugal did. Portugal decriminalized all drugs. And guess what? The drug rates, the addiction rates didn't go up. They went down. 
because you had less enforcement when it came to uh, throwing people in jail. You had less money going to police and more money going to treatment centers. That's what they did with all the money that they saved from drug enforcement. We could do the same thing here, but we're not. And again, another reason is, I thought we we're supposed to be a free country. What does it matter what you put in your body to the government? You don't have the right to tell me whatever I, I want to put in my body, what I can do to my own body. And again, if you're addicted to drugs, then you should not be afraid to go and get help. That help should be available and it shouldn't lead to prison time. It, look, if you make it legal and you regulate it and you tax it and you make it easier, you use that money to help people get treated for addiction. And look, you're going to end up with less people being addicted. And you're also going to take the money out of the hands of the cartels. You're going to take the power out of the hands of the drug cartels that are killing thousands of people in Mexico right now and other places. We've tried prohibition. It was a complete failure. And now here Jeff Sessions is out here saying we're going to double down on failure by being even tougher on crime. You're not helping anybody. You're not helping crime. Crime goes down when you decriminalize drugs because the act of possessing drugs is a crime. It would make sense that if you stop making that a crime, stop criminalizing it, then you're going to have less crime. And look, when you're doing, for example, if you're doing marijuana, the only thing that you're danger to is a bag of chips. The only thing that you're going to slaughter is a pizza. It doesn't make any sense why we're doing this, but uh, uh, to Jeff Sessions and for people who are in the private prison industry and people who are in law enforcement, it makes all the sense in the world. If they eliminate that, well, then we lose a lot of our money. Again, it comes down to the money. That's what it's all about. Look, if you remove the ability for judges to use human judgment, which this is doing, reinstating mandatory minimums, the mandatory minimum, that means judges do not get the chance to use human judgment and actually do their jobs, we are going to end up getting more people in prison. And that's, of course, good for the private prison industry. But how's that for land of the free? We are anything but free. <laughs> morality. You want to talk about morality? No, no. This is deeply immoral. Deeply immoral. Look, Michael Collins, deputy director of the Drug Policy Alliance, said in a statement emailed to NPR, quote, this is a disastrous move that will increase the prison population, exacerbate racial disparities in the criminal justice system. Uh, and look, one thing that I didn't mention is that, of course, drug enforcement happens to, well, uh, impact minorities far more than it does white people, despite the fact that they do drugs at the same rate. That's another thing. That's why it's part of the racist drug war. Going back to Nixon, going after liberals, going after African-Americans. Well, they've done a great job at going after African-Americans. Now that they make up a disproportionate amount of people who are in prison. And of course, it reinforces negative stereotypes. Well, they're in prison because they're criminals. No, maybe they're in prison because they get caught with a plant. No. Not only that, he, uh, 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 Collins continues, this does nothing to reduce drug use or increase public safety. Sessions has taken the country back to the 1980s by escalating the failed policies of the drug war. Now, I happen to remember some libertarians and even some progressives saying, hey man, look, Trump might be a little bit better on drug policy. No. No. Look, I have to say, and I'm not 100% sure, but I think possibly keeping in uh, with her old policies, with her stance on things, hey, let's keep the status quo. Well, Hillary Clinton likely would have kept at least Obama's recommendations. But Trump, Trump doesn't care about this issue. That doesn't impact, uh, impact him. He doesn't have a policy here. He doesn't even have a stake in this. So he's basically letting Sessions, since he's running this thing, do whatever he wants. And what Sessions wants is what Sessions has always wanted. To crack down on marijuana and on all drugs. Again, I go back to him saying, hey man, uh, people who do marijuana, they're not good people. How do you know that? You don't. Plenty of people have done marijuana. I wouldn't be surprised if Jeff Sessions had tried marijuana sometime. I'm just saying. 
I don't have any proof of that. But somebody who's so against something for no reason? Me thinks thou dost protesteth too much. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Look. Sessions is going to continue this disastrous war on drugs. As I knew he was going to. And he's going to end up taking us backwards. There's no morality. There's no justice. There's just more incarceration. More profit for private prisons. Less freedom. And more injustice. That's what you get from Jeff Sessions. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.